During walks, dogs usually wallow, play with other dogs, jump and in general subject themselves to factors that cause their hair to become dirty or tangled. If we do not carry out proper hygiene on their coats, the results down the line can appear as health problems. One of the most important cleaning procedures to avoid these problems is brushing. In this video of Animal Wise, we'll talk about the different and best types of brushes for dogs and which to choose depending on the specific hair of the animal. In general, dogs are categorised with three types of hair, short, medium or long. Each type requires a specific type of brush and regimens that result in proper care of the mantle. So let's see below which ones are the best. Brushes for dogs with short hair. Short haired dogs need much milder hair care than those with longer hair. The fur of your dog is short but dense. We recommend two to three brushes per week. However, depending on the type of dog, the treatment of the hair will differ. For example, the French Bulldog with very short hair needs a smaller amount of brushing than a Chihuahua that, despite having short hair, tends to lose a larger amount. For this type of hair, it's advisable to use brushes that are made to specifically eliminate excess hair because they have the possibility of creating tangles or excess dirt. To do this, we use a brush with rubber bristles, a mitten or a rubber band. These types of brushes avoid damaging the animal's skin and plucking the hair. Because the brush is made of rubber, it allows dead hair to adhere to it easily, allowing you to give your dog a soft and pleasant massage while you groom. We will always focus on brushing the dog gently in order to make it pleasant for the animal. We also suggest always following the brush in the direction of the hair growth from root to tip. Medium haired dogs usually need a minimum of four brushes a week. Although, if you have enough time, once a day would be ideal. Because this hair is longer than that of short-haired dogs, we will use a brush made with fine, close metallic bristles, known by many as a card or racket. We use this brush specifically to remove all accumulated dead hair. To avoid damaging the dog's skin, you must look at the tips of the bristles and opt for those with rounded tips. However, brushes or cards with rubber spikes are also suitable for these dogs. As with previous dogs, you should brush gently, paying attention to the areas with the most amount of hair, and always going along the area of growth. Within this group of medium haired dogs, we can find dogs with thicker hair or double layered hair, for example, the German Shepherd. These dogs need special brushes to both remove accumulated hair and to untangle possible knots. First, we suggest using the metal barbed brush mentioned above. Once this step is done, it is advisable to use a brush or rake comb in order to untangle and reach the dead hair located near the skin. Rubber barbed cards are also effective and can be even used after bathing. Another of the most popular brushes to remove dead hair from dogs with this type of hair is a comb. The effectiveness of this brush is really amazing since it has shown that it manages to collect up to 90% of dead hair. It is characterised by the single row of very short, fine and close metal or plastic bristles. In addition, it favours the dog's skin and provides shine and softness to the coat because it has the ability to easily distribute the natural fat which is present in the animal's dermis. Dogs with long or very long hair are the ones that need more attention when it comes to their hair care. Since they tend to have a lot of knots and tangles, the most appropriate thing to do is to brush their coat every day and go to a groomer when necessary. For long-haired dogs with delicate skin like Yorkshire's, we recommend using a double-sided brush. These have round bristles on one side and harder synthetic bristles on the other. First, you must brush with the side with round bristles, combing the mantle carefully and removing any existing dead hair. You should then use the other side to provide softness and shine. It is also possible to use a comb with long metal and rounded tips. For dogs with thicker and less delicate skin, we will use the anterior brush with metallic teeth combing in favour of the hair and paying attention not to exert too much pressure. If you decide, you can also use the metal bar comb mentioned previously. And for those dogs with long, thick and dense hair with a tendency to generate entanglements, you can also use a rake comb. The hair of a Spanish water dog is characterised by being curly and extremely dense. Therefore, they need a specific type of brush to brush their fur and undo the knots without damaging or tearing it. The most suitable brush for this is a comb with thick and separate metal teeth. Some of these brushes have a single row of teeth, while others have two, 
one with the teeth more separated than the other. If you prefer to use the brush with two rows of teeth, we will first brush with the side that has separate teeth, and then follow the side with the teeth close together. If the dog has knots very close to the skin, or knots which appear difficult to untangle, we will avoid using the thick comb brush. Instead, we propose we use a blunt tip scissors to cut them out, or you can just take them to the groomer. Sometimes brushing allows us to notice the presence of fleas or lice. To remove them, you should use a type of comb designed precisely with the aim of identifying the faeces of these parasites. You can then proceed to apply the anti-parasitic treatment provided by the veterinarian. These combs are characterized by metallic spikes, fine and close together to drag and collect faeces. They are suitable for all types of hair and should be used by passing them through the mantle with care and patience to avoid pulling or tugging. In the dog grooming market, we can also find electric brushes like this one that help us to undo tangles, comb the dog's hair and to remove any dead hair which is collected. In general, this brush is recommended for dogs with medium and dense hair, for dogs with longer hair or dogs with a tendency to generate knots easily. Don't forget to give us a like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe to our channel to stay up to date with everything we do. See you next time.